I'm looking for a proper grave for my beloved. Her cadaver is on my shoulder, a hefty weight. I use a shovel as my cane. The coffee aroma from a corner shop engulfs me, a waking hunger. I lean the carcass against the wall. You'll wait for me, won't you, my beloved? The waitress fills the cup without even asking. I order bacon and eggs. Reminiscences of our life together flash before my eyes as I sip the coffee and wait for the food to arrive. An Asian man approaches, emerging seemingly from nowhere. Say, is it your stiff out there? No, mine is right here. I pointed myself. Don't be a wise ass with me, he advises. The little lady out there, she yours? Yes, I admit, reluctantly. What happened to her? She died. The man loses any interest in my situation, as if it he had expected a more unusual case. He walks over to the counter to study the menu. I stare at him, seeking in his eyes a reflection of my beloved, an image stolen from a stranger's perception, a different view of my lover's familiar image. My interlocutor walks out without ordering. My food arrives. I eat hastily and without due pleasure. My beloved's demise has spoiled my appetite. Listen, we want to bring her in, the cook offers from behind the counter, his grill steaming with provisions. His elderly, bald, his smile is genuine. She's dead, I explain. I know she's dead, but she looks more than just dead. Well, She's been dead for a while, I explain. Where are you taking her? I'm looking for a grave for her. To buy or to rent? To rent. I don't have enough money to buy. I know someone who can rent you one for a hundred dollars a month. It's a good deal. They'll one first and last month, though. Last month? Well, in a manner of speaking. Why? Well, what if you decide to move her without notice? I wouldn't do something like that. My beloved deserves a long-term resting place. Two hundred bucks in one shot is too steep for me, I say. I'll keep it in mind. You do that. I nod and walk out. The corpse of my beloved on my shoulder, I continue my quest.